My name is Anthony Moss and I'm a physical therapist at Synergy Physical Therapy and Sports Medicine. So we're here today to show you five exercises for a pre-race dynamic warm-up that you can do just before the gun goes off. So dynamic warm-ups are better than traditional static stretches to get your muscles loosened up and your blood flowing for the race. For more information, please check out our website or Facebook page. So the first exercise as part of your pre-race dynamic warm-up is called leg swings. To do this, it's easiest to hold on to something steady. On race morning, it might be a fence or a tree. You're going to balance on one leg and keep the other leg straight and swing it forward and backward from the hip in an alternating fashion. It's important that you maintain an upright posture while doing this and keep your core tight so the movement doesn't just come from your low back. And ideally, you perform two sets of 20 to 30 seconds on both sides. The next exercise is called high knees. From a standing position, you alternate hopping from one foot to the other while raising your knees to hip level. Your arm swing should resemble your running form, so opposite arm with opposite leg, and you perform landing only on the balls of your feet as you progress forward over 15 to 20 yards. The next exercise is called butt kicks. So from a standing position, alternate hopping from one foot to the other while exaggerating your backswing to bring your foot as close as possible towards your glutes. Again, your arm swing should resemble your running form and perform landing only on the balls of your feet as you progress forward over approximately 15 to 20 yards. The next exercise is called a skip. From a standing position, you're going to begin to skip forward while raising your lead leg into high knee position and alternating from side to side. Your back leg should remain straight during each skip and arm swing should again resemble running form. Also landing on the balls of your feet you're going to press progress forward over approximately 15 to 20 yards. The next exercise is called B skip. So similar to the A skip you're going to skip forward. However, once you've raised the lead leg to hip level you're going to then straighten the knee prior to lowering your leg back to the ground. Arm swing should again resemble running form and perform landing on the balls of your feet as you progress forward over approximately 15 to 20 yards.